Hey everyone, Derek Miller here. If you're serious about cars, fixing them, maintaining them, or making them better, you're exactly where you need to be. I break things down step by step so you can get the job done right the first time. If you find this helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest tips. All right, let's skip the small talk and get straight Reference. to it. There are two types of accelerators on cars, resistive and contactless. The first ones are cheaper and the four are found on all budget cars. The second are more reliable and expensive, installed on cars of medium and high price category. The algorithm of work of the resistive sensor is the following, at idle, the flap is closed and the air goes to the motor through a separate channel. The voltage at the output of the device does not exceed 0.5 volts, the controller supplies fuel to maintain idle engine speed. When the driver presses the gas pedal, the sensor slider moves across the resistive film. The resistance of the electrical circuit where the device is connected in series decreases. The ECU sees the voltage rise in the meter circuit, makes a calculation, prepares the fuel-air mixture in the required amount and feeds it into the cylinders. The maximum voltage at fully open throttle is about 4.5 V. When the driver sharply depresses the accelerator pedal, the controller detects a similar voltage spike and delivers a portion of enriched mixture for dynamic acceleration. Note. Operating voltage values are specified for a common Russian car, a VAZ2110. Non-contact throttle position sensor functions identically. The difference lies in the method of influence on the electrical circuit. The resistive device changes resistance with the help of a slider moving along the film, and the contactless, due to the magnetic, resistive effect. Thanks to this principle of operation, the DPDZ lasts much longer and does not cause problems for the owner of the car. Symptomatology of sensor malfunction The main control unit has a program, if one of the important gauges stops working, the fuel air. Mixture is prepared and fed according to the averaged indicators, and the warning sign check engine is turned on in the dashboard. Emergency operation with increased fuel consumption is a clear sign of a sensor failure. The tricky thing about the DPDZ is that it does not break in the usual sense. When the resistive film starts to wear out, the resistance of the device changes unpredictably. The controller then sees in the circuit a serviceable sensor, then notes incorrect voltage spikes and tries to go into emergency mode. Hence, the main sign of throttle malfunction is determined, periodically flashing check engine display. The malfunction is accompanied by a change in engine behavior, more precisely, shaking, and spontaneous stops of the engine running. At idle speed, no acceleration dynamics, after pressing the gas pedal there are jerks and dips, increased idle speed of the power. Unit, 1500 to 2500 RPM, the car does not pull, due to loss of power, jerks are also felt during driving, fuel consumption increases by 10 to 25%. These signs can be caused by dozens of reasons, starting from ignition system malfunctions and ending with engine parts wear. That's why it's important to screen out surface malfunctions, including incorrect operation of the throttle position sensor. How to check the throttle position sensor? To confirm or deny the symptoms of a faulty meter, you will need a multimeter or other instrument with a voltmeter function. The set should include pointed probes, otherwise you will have to strip the wires connected to the sensor. It is extremely undesirable to remove insulation from the conductors, so if there are no sharp pins, make them yourself, they will be useful in the future. Diagnosis of the sensor is made by measuring the voltage between the output wire and the mass of the machine. The algorithm of the operation is as follows, with the ignition switched off, remove the DPDZ connector and determine from the diagram. Which of the three wires is the output one? In VAZ cars, the required conductor is connected to the upper contact of the pad. Put the connector in place and puncture the found wire with a pointed feeler gauge from the outside. Connect the second clip to the minus terminal of the battery. Set the multimeter to measure the voltages and turn on the ignition. Record the reading. Open the throttle as far as it will go and take the second voltage reading. Turn the choke smoothly while watching the voltages rise. The values should change gradually, without jumps and drops to zero. In conclusion, understanding the symptoms of throttle position sensor failure is crucial for maintaining your vehicle's performance. As we discussed, common signs include erratic engine behavior, increased fuel consumption, and a noticeable loss of power. 
Utilizing a multimeter to check the sensor's performance can help diagnose issues early, preventing further complications. If you identify any faults, timely replacement of the throttle position sensor is recommended to ensure your engine runs smoothly and efficiently. By staying vigilant and addressing these symptoms promptly, you can keep your vehicle in optimal condition and avoid unnecessary repairs. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.